Hello, we are back with another opinion and answer edition part part 13. We will be discussing a brand new opinion and answer f titled Thomas and Friends Connection to North America. Folks, I hopefully you you enjoy as well as enjoying looking at all the other opinion and answer series um and that so, folks, let's get on into it. So, for this edition, we will be highlighting Thomas and Friends' connection to North America. Um, folks, if you are a fan of the Thomas and Friends show that has now been owned now by Mattel um, until some other company comes along, um, you've all seen the show. Uh, to me, I prefer uh, looking at the classical series, which was seasons one through seven of the show, um, and that um, not the... Not the All Engine Goes series now, but anywho, that's another rant for another day. Um, but, folks, here's the thing. Uh, Thomas and Friends was a British television show that uh, that that started up in, Eng in good old England and made its way over to America for the U.S. audience to watch. Um, and that, but here's one little tidbit about Thomas and Friends. Um, for Thomas and Friends to come to America, another show ended up assisting in its hand, assisting the show to come to America, and that is another show that not too many people are familiar with, called Shining Time Station. Um, that that assisted in bringing Thomas and Friends to the to the American audience. Um, so folks. Please do enjoy. Uh, let's see. Yep. The special... Uh, let's see. I'm only covering the behind the scene portion as everyone else covered either most of all the Shining Time for right now. But anywho. Um, like everyone else, when they were young, I loved growing up watching Thomas and Friends, mostly on DVDs, with chances now and then of catching episodes on the Sprout Network in the United States. Even while growing up, still a fan of the Thomas and Friends and the collector, some of the Thomas and Friends... Um, DVDs and a copy of the Railway Series book with the big old collection book. But anyway, um, so according to research done on the Shining Time Station's Wikipedia page, um, Station Time Station, Shining Time Station um, TV show was created after the success of the Thomas and the Tank Engine and Friends over in Great Britain, which allowed for Britt Allcroft and her production team to decide on teaming up with the PBS station WNET in New York City in 1989 to produce and distribute the sitcom adequate Shining Time Station that took place on Indian Valley Railroad in an unknown part of the United States. Um, during each Shining Time Station episode, it would feature two different episodes of Thomas and Friends segments while having its own main episode along with two musical segments. Um, upon further research on Shining Time Station, backed by the Shining Time Station's page on the Thomas and F the Tank Engine's Wikipedia page, it was clear on the fact that in North America, Shining Time Station show was created for North American audience to be introduced to the British television show Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends in 1989 um, as the railway series books that were written by Robert Wilbur Audrey and Christopher Audrey were not published book by book, only by the Capellian volumes. Um, by complication volumes until the late 1990s. Um, so Shiny Time Station kind of had its hand in playing playing a part in bringing Thomas and Friends to America by slowly introducing it um, into America's audience by doing an episode um, featuring two different segments of Thomas and Friends episodes that have been done um, along with a couple musical uh, segments. So that's really how it, how Thomas and Friends kind of came to America, according to research, as far as we are all aware. Um, so, folks, in conclusion, it was because of the success of Thomas and Friends TV um, in Great Britain and the fact that the Railway Series books that were published in compilation volumes instead of book-by-book book publication in North America that Brick Elkoff decided to create Shining Time Station Show to introduce Thomas and Friends to North American audience. Um, because when North American audiences... Wanted to see Thomas and Friends. Um, Britt Alcoff had to. Fi we're trying to figure out a way to be able to bring Thomas and Friends to America, and figured, um, why not have a train show that could help that could help play a role in it. So, folks, uh, before you before we end this, uh, here's a quick fact that I will leave you all with, in terms of the station episode counts the Thomas story segments as they are called. Um, that were done during Shining Time's uh, run, running. 
Um, during season one of Shining Time Station, between January 29th, 1989 to June 11th, 1989, um, 40 Thomas stories, um, two per Shining Time, Shining Time Station episodes. Um, during the second season, um, 38, as well as two episodes, so two per the episodes. Um, in season three, 31 um, Thomas stories, uh, Six episodes had two Thomas story formats, meaning um, within the Shining Time Station um, episodes, there were two diff two uh, segments of Thomas and Friends, while the remaining 19 had only one Thomas story format per episode as um, as they were going transitioning on. Um, and then the Christmas 1990 special of the Shining Time Station had four Thomas um, stories, uh, two two per TV, two per VHS. Um, and then during the family specials, the 1995 um, on February 28th, September 25th, October 23rd, and November 20th, 1995, were eight Thomas stories um, during that period. And then um, in 1996, um, on October... Um, in October 7th, the 7th, 14th, and 21st, and 28th, and November 4th and 11th, known as Mr. Conductor's Thomas Tales, uh, 24 stories, four stories per uh, Mr. Conductor's Thomas Tale episodes, which on August, on October 7th was Missing Whistles, um, October 14th was Wildlife, October 21st was Wish You Were Here, uh, November 4th was Splish, Splash, Splash, and November... November 4th, which was on November 4th, and November 11th, Paint the Town Red. So, folks, hopefully, uh, if you did enjoy that little tidbit, go check out my Steam Train blog, link in the description, uh, like usual, and feel free to leave a like, comment, um, hopefully you found this interesting, and then, um, if you did, if you're a Thomas Friends um, TV show fan, and you didn't know this, well, now you learned something new, like we all do every day. If you didn't, hopefully you uh, hopefully if you already knew, hopefully uh, this refresh. So, folks, this is Positive Tiger Gamer heading on out on the opinion and answer train, and we will see you all when you all come back for another opinion and answer at the opinion and answer show. Have a good one, folks, and we will see you all on another episode. <laughs>